Hi guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. Today is Friday, April 23rd, 2021, and I've got a special guest with me today. Come on in, special guest. Oh, well, I'm a guest, not special. You're special. <laughs> okay, so everybody, remember Honey Lovett? Steven. This is Steven with a V, everybody. Okay, so I was tagged by Dana at Dana's Wonderland. Oh, my. <laughs> I can't sit like that. By Dana at Dana's Wonderlust Crochet. And I was tagged in the... Ten yarn questions. Tag you're it. Yes. By bag a day. Right. So, we're going to do this together, aren't we? Well, I'm going to answer. Try and guess yours. Yeah, okay. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so, what is, your, number one, what is your favorite color of yarn? Hmm. Don't really have a favorite. Pastels, soft, purples, pinks. That's about it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'd have to say yes. You're you're correct. I do not have a favorite. I I wish I almost wish that these questions said <clears throat> what is your most disliked because I could sure really really answer them. But my yeah, I don't really have a favorite color. I mean, yeah, I, I actually, I like jewel tones, like the jewel, you know, that rich, rich purple and the rich teal and rich um, royal blues and uh, a gray and white. Yeah, yeah. Yep. My least favorite. Browns and greens. Uh, yellow and orange. Oh, yellow and orange. Ooh, oh. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta act fast because this is gonna this video is gonna be forever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two. What is your favorite weight of yarn? Chunky five. He saw me working on a chunky five. That's why. What do I like though normally? Six. No. <laughs> Four. Yeah. Oh. Medium number four. Yeah, medium number four is my favorite. Uh, and threes. Okay, number three. What is your favorite style of yarn? Anything that doesn't, isn't clingy and sticky. It's got to be soft. So acrylics. Right? Yeah. So I think... I'd say, yeah, acrylics that are... Yeah, I think style means... Um, worsted or... Uh, yeah, like, I think it means, like, is it chain spun or roving? Do you remember that yarn I used that went thick and thin, thick and thin? And how much did I like that? Yeah, so not a roving girl at all. So I don't really, ha I guess just normal yarn, like normal, you know, some chain spuns, but just the normal. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Number four. What is your favorite fiber of yarn? Acrylics. Hey, good for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So number five, what is your favorite brand that you can easily get within your country? That's tough. Yeah, because we don't get much here in Canada. And we haven't been, when's the last time we went yarn shopping? Or in a year. <laughs> Watch your language. <laughs> year and a half? Yeah, so I don't even know what's that I can easily get and I don't really have, because I'm just newish, like two years crocheting, I don't have a favorite within my country because I really don't know what is in my country. Like, 
Yeah, uh, my favorite brand. I don't have a favorite brand, do I? In my country. No. No. Number six, what is your favorite brand that isn't easy to get within your country? Paint box. Okay. And I love this yarn. Say it again. I love this yarn. Say it again. I love this yarn. Yeah, Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn. All of us Canadians are answering the same on that one. Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, or I love this cotton. Right? Don't I squeal and scream and freak? Yeah. When somebody sends me some of that? Yeah. Yeah, and I've been gifted so much of that, haven't I? Yeah. Hey, yeah. really generous people out there, aren't there? Very generous. Yeah. Okay, number six, seven. Uh, favorite yarn store online and favorite brick and mortar. Online? Yeah. Yeah. Clueless. I have no idea. Yeah. Lately I've been ordering from Aberdeen's. Say it again. Aberdeen's. Aberdeen's Wool Company. Because they have it's uh in my hometown. Um and I can get some fancy dancy stuff. And it's five dollar flat rate shipping. And all of North America, I sound like an infomercial now, I know, but I have no affiliation whatsoever with them. But, I mean, for $5 in gas, right, the, the, cl the other closest brick and mortar is uh, Michael's and Walmart. And yep. it's like 45 minutes to an hour with traffic to get there, yep. right? So, and shopping on, and Walmart, you shop online and they're, they're, you look at the price. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're back, right? Hello again. Hello again. Yep. 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 I didn't delete any. <laughs> Where are we? Favorite yarn store online and favorite brick and mortar. Okay, so we basically covered that, right? Um, the online is going to be the Aberdeens and um, brick and mortar is going to have to be Michaels, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, number eight. Do you keep scrap yarn? If so, what do you do with it? Stuff you don't like or stuff you've used and frogged? Oh, you're asking me? Yeah. I think scrap yarn means, you know when I, you know when I make something and then I have, and then I have like a little bit left? You keep it in those two big jars and yeah. everywhere else <laughs> it's everywhere Let's put it that way on the table in boxes <laughs> some right here oh no that's a whole new one yeah okay but I usually throw it out right like I just start I just okay I because I like f using fresh new balls Nothing better than, than opening up a fresh new ball of yarn. So usually I throw it out. You know, like, I don't know what they mean by scraps. If they mean scraps like this, what am I doing with it? I mean, besides it's piling on the table and then you have to pick it up and then you don't want to touch it and you're afraid to touch it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> and then I say, and then I go and I go, oh no, this is garbage. But a lot of people have been using it to stuff amigurumis. So that's when I started, um, maybe we could get the jar. Do you want to run toddle, toddle over and grab those jars? Um, Both of them? Uh, yes, please. So yeah, so then I felt guilty because everybody else I'm watching keeps their scrap yarn. So actually I was telling Dean, I, I was like, I think you and I are the only ones that throw out our scrap yarn. But I don't really don't know what they mean when they say scrap yarn. Like, what's the size of scrap yarn? So I was feeling guilty, and I did start. I well, I did start saving. And I think it's pretty, isn't it? Pretty in these glass jars. Yeah. So I don't know really know what they mean by scrap yarn either. Like, you know, like is it this big? Is it this much? I don't know. 
Majority, I do throw away. Just stuff you're not going to use. Yeah, like if it's little, what do I do? Throw it out. If it won't go up the vacuum, <laughs> I leave it. <laughs> okay, so... I don't touch nothing I'm not supposed to. I, no way. <laughs> don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Worried about a little piece of... <laughs> But I generally don't you don't aren't I'm aren't I always like opening up a new ball of yarn to start something? Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. So what is your favorite thing to crochet or knit? I don't knit. So what's my favorite thing to crochet? What would you guess? Well, it's, I know it's not slippers. <laughs> She's why? <laughs> why do you say that? Because they're always a pain in the butt. And you want them. Yeah. I he, want slippers. So. He wants slippers, guys. Some no, I'm joking. Somebody send the poor guy slippers, cause I don't. Uh, I got slippers. <laughs> but both of ours, the ones we made, we got. We went outside with them, and we got caught on a nail on the deck. We both have the identical hole. From a nail hole. Yeah. <laughs> Both of our, our matching slippers are, oh my god, we're not going to show you. <laughs> Slipper season's almost over, so uh, it's getting warm. Uh, but he wants slippers. Right now, your favorite thing is uh, shawls and those cowls. Mm, yep. Yep. Used to be baby dresses, and it was hats, and it was... Well, hats only because I started with slippers. Right? And then I moved on to hats. And then I went to baby dresses. And then I was going crazy on baby dresses, wasn't I? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have a favorite, though. Do I? You really like the shawls and cowls, yeah. Yeah, okay then. There, There's your answer there. Unless it's for her new grandbaby. <laughs> what? Anything. Oh, yeah. That you've made for, for Bethany. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so number 10. I know this is going to be long. Sorry, guys. If you could crochet or knit one last thing for the rest of your life, what would it be and what yarn would you use? That's hard. What would be your best guess? Well, some of your nicest work is the shawls and cowls. Yeah. So, one of those two. And it would be in... I don't know what's that yarn you've been using for not the sparkly stuff. Yeah, I don't like that stuff. I don't like the spark the sparkles in it. What did I say the sparkles felt like? Steel wool. Steel wool. Yeah, I don't yeah. I mean it's gorgeous to look at, but if you're crocheting with it, it feels like steel wool. Um, I don't know. I, and I kind of turn this into I'm kind of turning this into my um what do you call that when you want to make uh um what's that word? A bucket list. My bucket list. I'm turning it into what's on my bucket list that I really, really want to make. And I want to make the Jose. I had to write this down. Josephina and Jeffrey elephant rug in gray and pink. That's what, remember I, remember I showed you that rug? Yeah. That is gorgeous. I really want to make that. So that's on my bucket list. And actually, oh, then I also wrote down uh one of those very intricate 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 thank you it's not spelled like that either i know um <laughs> intricate intricate lace you know the lacy gorgeous wedding dresses guys hello but after me doing that thing with um cindy the crocheter a eh? what do i think of that thin yarn and thin tiny needle poopy yeah, so no, I don't, that's no longer on my bucket list. 
Um, I guess it'd be the rug. Oh, and something came into my head and I lost it. But I guess I'm getting into blankets now, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. And there's those, you know, the one that, um, what's her name sent me? Trisha? Mm -hmm. Hey, that's nice, eh? Yeah, and then actually Dana, there was that thing going on with uh, Dana's Wonderlust Crochet and Laura Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming and Trisha and that, uh, oh, those blankets. Oh, man, remember I showed you that blanket? It's, oh, I don't know, the Phoenix blanket or something like that. Oh, yeah. The blue one? Oh, no, that's on my list. Don't, don't kill anybody. That's on my list. That's on my list next. Okay, sorry. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so anyway... Um, thanks for joining me today here. You're welcome. So what do you think about crocheting and me? I'm glad you found your thing. She loves it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She always wanted to be crafty and thought she had no talent. But she's pretty good at this. Thank you. Okay, so I guess I better put a pair of slippers on my hooks. No. <laughs> no. We'll be barefoot soon. <laughs> okay, thanks. Oh, I got a tag. I got a tag. I got a tag. So, I've decided to keep it Canadian, eh? Eh? Yeah. And I am going to tag Cindy the Crocheter, eh? <laughs> Poor girl. Make, doing this friggin' uh, competition. What? Competition? No, not competition. Challenge with her. Poor girl. Tag team challenge. Oh, my God. And Amanda from... You know Cindy, right? Yes. Yep. Um, Amanda at Runaway Crochet. You know Amanda. Yep, she used to live right near me. Yep. And Donna at Sunshine LeClaire. Oh, that's Donna. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always remember her, Sunshine Leclerc, not... Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sunshine Leclerc. Because we haven't seen you in a long time, Donna, and we're all missing you. So those are my three tags. And, uh, yeah. Oh, it's funny. I put down before, favorite color is gray. <laughs> I don't know. I keep changing. It, uh, my favorite color is what I'm working with at the moment. I think, eh? Yeah. Although you will not see yellow and orange on my hooks. Well, oh, I should, actually, I'm going to take that back because I'm actually working with something in the orange. It's got orange and brown in it. Isn't that funny? No, I thought like I hated brown. I don't know. Don't see a lot of brown. Or orange. Or yellow. I only bought the yellow to make that bumblebee, which I stank at. Or green. Yeah. I do like green, but more on the tealy side of green. And if I have to make some leprechaun someday. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, guys, I've kept you long enough, haven't we? <laughs> Come here, honey lover. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, everybody. You want a pair of slippers, don't you? No, I like these. <laughs> he likes his ratty tatty slippers. I love you. I love you guys. Okay. Take care, everybody. Take care, y'all. Have fun now, yeah? I'm gonna go shut the camera off. Okay, he's gonna go shut the camera off. And uh, I guess, oh, I guess up next, I gotta do Madonna. Take me in uh, the hooky, hook, hooker tag. Oh, God. Okay, bye.